Hello, I'm Dr. Indira Maislam. I'm a consultant endocrinologist based in Kolkata. Today, as part of wellness endocrinology, I shall speak on the hormonal and the metabolic problems that are faced by night shift workers and how to deal with them. Every individual has an internal or a circadian clock that synchronizes with the 24-hour light-dark cycle of our external world. This was an evolutionary adaptation so that we could gain from the opportunities and face the challenges that the 24-hour light-dark cycle had to offer. An area inside our brain, known as the suprachiasmatic nucleus, receives light from the outside world through the retina of our eyes. This is the master clock. The master clock sends hormonal and neuronal signals to other secondary clocks and other body organs so that metabolic processes in our body are partitioned according to the time of the day. Therefore, during the light or active phase, we are active, we eat food and metabolism is different, whereas in the inactive phase, we are inactive. For this partitioning to occur, sleep is the master switch. However, night shift workers are forced to indulge in a lifestyle where the circadian rhythm is not in sync with the external world. And therefore, they work, are active and take food during the supposedly inactive phase and are inactive during the supposedly active phase for humans. They also incur a lot of sleep debt. And because of this gross mismatch, there is development of obesity and other metabolic disorders. Studies have also shown that night shift workers tend to eat based on the availability of food and timing rather than on hunger and they tend to binge eat more in the free days compared to day workers. But in this 24 into 7 world we live in today, night shift work is a bitter truth. So how can night shift workers improve their metabolic health? Studies have shown that an indulgence in a good lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle, prevents the development of diabetes and obesity in night shift workers. So an endocrinologist who is a specialist in hormone and other metabolic disorders would be the best person to guide in this aspect. He or she would advise lifestyle choices like physical activity, like food choices, feeding patterns, avoidance of smoking or alcohol or other addiction, and how to indulge or involve in a good sleep hygiene. Thank you.